Welcome to the Theory Group. There has been a long history of theoretical physics at King's, beginning with Maxwell in 1863, who wrote down the equations of electromagnetism. These formed the basis for future development in theoretical physics, in particular special relativity, and it also contained a gauge symmetry, which later became embodied in Yang Mills theory. In turn, special relativity led to general relativity as formulated by Einstein in 1915. What is not well known is that uh, general relativity was not regarded as a proper physical theory until about the mid-1950s. This change of uh, viewpoint came about by Felix Parani and Hermann Bondi, also at King's. They explained how to measure the physical effects of gravity waves, and their work underlies the recent spectacular discovery of LIGO of direct gravity waves. The theory group as it is today can be traced back to 1978. It began working on supersymmetry and later string theory. At King's, some of the cornerstones in these subjects were found. For example, the maximal supergravity theories, the conformal invariance of large classes of uh, four-dimensional quantum field theories, the theory of multiple M2 brains, and some of the early quantum properties of supersymmetric theories. Today, the theory group has 11 permanent members who are all world experts in their field. Their interests lie across supersymmetry and string theory. They include the quantum properties of black holes, the symmetries underlying a fundamental theory of strings and brains, the quantum properties of de Sitter space, the quest to find exact quantities in quantum field theories, and many other subjects. The aim of the group is to discover things that lead to long-term change in theoretical physics, rather than chasing short-term fashions. The content of the MSc course reflects the interests of our members of staff and one of its main aims is to prepare students so that they can undertake a PhD in theoretical physics. Indeed, we often take students from our MSc course onto our PhD programme. The MSc in Theoretical Physics um, bridges a gap between uh, the undergraduate maths and physics um, that you've learned previously and uh, the work of researchers in high energy physics, uh, cosmology and uh, general relativity. Who here knows what the Aaron and Bohm effect is? I've found the department to be really supportive um, of their students in general. Um, in particular, the maths department at, um, at King's have been really supportive of me setting up these uh, staff research talks that we've been doing with the theoretical physics group. A will be different up here and down here because of the existence of the magnetic flux. Slightly, it slightly melts. The, the glaze becomes glass. There are courses on supersymmetry, black holes, string theory, and aspects of space-time structure, as well as courses on quantum field theory. There's a summer research project, which is individually supervised by our members of staff. King's is a great place to do a PhD uh, because it's a very close-knit group, a very integrated group. Day-to-day, um, -day, that means it's really fun, but more generally, I think it's crucial for my work. Uh, when I arrived at King's, I was really worried about how to contextualise my work. I kind of had a problem in front of me, but I find it hard to understand why this problem was a useful thing to solve, and also what tools were out there to help me solve it. Uh, what I've enjoyed and kind of made the, the, the most of is that the group at King's comes from a very diverse range of, of knowledge and, and, and experience, which means you can have one, one problem which you take to kind of half a dozen people and get 
six different angles on this problem, which I think has, has been the only way I've been able to actually make progress with my work. I was quite scared coming into my PhD. Uh, it's very different doing research compared to doing an undergraduate or master's, but I found King's was very, very supportive. And within six months or something, I, I felt very settled and I felt more confident to do what I do now. Now that I'm approaching the end of my PhD, I'm now realising that uh, it's not just good enough to, to be uh, strong within the group. I need to get my name out there. I need to try and make a name for myself within the community. And King's has been brilliant with that because it's not easy to do. Uh, and certainly the community is, is vast. But King's has given me kind of the, the connections and the support I've needed to go and give talks places and just meet new people and really make a, build a strong foundation for the rest of my career. Being part of King's also means being part of the uh, London Triangle community, which is a great benefit. It's uh, one, a really large uh, city community, which involves going to different seminars, going to different graduate lecture series. We also have a lot of uh, events held, being held at King's because it's very central. Both through having the opportunity to attend all of these events across London and uh, through the fact that we can draw a lot of experienced people and experienced researchers to King's, this provides a great research opportunity for PhD students uh, and it enables us to interact with the wider community. So when you go to any London university, you join this wider community that Ellie was already talking about with the Triangle Groups, and they're really good. But I think one of the things that really sets King's apart from the other London unis, in my biased opinion, is that the researchers who are you know, world leaders in their field, each of them, really go above and beyond for the students. So at the moment, we have three post-grad courses being taught by staff at King's. And they just put so much work into all of these courses, and they really, really benefit us PhD students. We also just have multiple levels of engagement between uh, students and faculty. So we have a student-organized PhD journal club, which is just us students. It's really nice. It's kind of like a safe space where you can go and be an idiot, present a paper you don't really understand, and other people can help you understand it. We also have a sort of middle-level interaction journal club where it's students and uh, uh, postdocs and, and some fellows as well. And then that one's really relevant. There's loads and loads of new papers on there every, every week. And we also have our you know, formal uh, lunchtime seminar where we get some very good distinguished speaker in from uh, anywhere in the world really and they give a, a lunchtime seminar but also all the faculty are all so approachable I mean every Wednesday they'll take the speaker out for dinner and they'll invite all the students and we can just go there and have a, a really nice time and I think that really makes a difference because it makes really breaks down barriers like I've got no fear going down to uh, the floor below where the offices are knocking on a door and asking any one of them a question about physics and I think that is really important for an incoming student to feel like that otherwise you know they're just paying for a building to sit in to go and read books on their own we're a very friendly group and we have a very intellectually stimulating environment with many seminars and interactions between us. So please do come and join us.